Hey everyone out there in YouTube land, this is the Adventurer, uh, bringing to you the first of what I hope to be many of my uh, flea market and thrift store uh, goodie videos. Uh, I'm uh, shooting this on my iPad camera, so unfortunately it's going to be a little bit shaky. Uh, hopefully in the future I'll be able to get a better camera and uh, maybe even get some footage of actually going out to flea markets. But as right now, I'm just going to be shooting my stuff that I've gotten in the last couple months. Um, talk about how I found the stuff, if there's anything interesting to say. But otherwise, just show off uh, what I've been finding. I got out to the flea market today, uh, something I've not been able to do for the last about month and a half. Uh, I found a few interesting things. Um, first thing I found was I got a copy of uh, Contra 4 for the Nintendo DS Complete. Um, interesting story about this one is I uh, found it in a pile. Um, it was marked $8.00. Uh, when I pulled it out of the pile, though, there was a second sticker on the front of it that said $25. Uh, so I thought it was just, you know, mismarked, and it was. But uh, the late, nice lady behind the counter did me a deal and uh, let me get it for 10 So uh, I hear this is a pretty good installment of the Contra series, so uh, I'm going to give it a shot. See, I like it. I do like uh, shooters of the, and the sort. Uh, next up, uh, at the same flea market, I found me a copy of... Uh, we got here. We got Rogue Galaxy for the PlayStation 2. I don't know why I wanted this. I don't know. There's something kind of interesting about it. I'm not a big JRPG fan, and I'm, but I'm starting to get into the PlayStation 2 era a little more. I don't know. This one just kind of caught my attention. I don't know why, but it looks interesting. So if I ever get into console RPGs, I'll have one to play. Uh, this was priced for ten dollars, but I got it bundled with this. That is a copy of Wonder Boy 3, The Dragon's Trap, for the Master System. Uh, interesting fact, this is my second Master System game, and it is, in fact, my second copy of Wonder Boy 3, The Dragon's Trap. Uh, first one I found a uh, complete in box for about $15 at a uh, reseller store. This one I found loose at the same place I found uh, the Rogue Galaxy game. Now, normally these games go for $5 at that store, at that, at that stand, but uh, I only had $11 on me at the time, so he let me bundle them up. For 11 bucks for uh, both of these, which I think is a pretty good deal. Now, I didn't have a lot of money this uh, week. I only had 20 bucks, so that was it for this week. But uh, the last month, in general, has been pretty slim pickings. Um, I go to the local Goodwill an awful lot, just checking for stuff, and uh, I found some stuff in the last month, but nothing super exciting. I found this copy of uh, Dragon Lair DVD-ROM. I got it for like a buck fifty. I think it was on half off that day. I uh, got it home, plugged into the DVD player, actually the Blu-ray player, did not work. Put it in the PC, did not work. So uh, that's a buck and a half well spent. Next, though, I found a copy of uh, Master of Orion 2 for the PC, DOS. I uh, hear this is a very good strategy game. One of these days I will give it a shot. Uh, this is just the disc in a generic case. I uh, also found a copy of Star Control 3, which apparently is not the best Star Control game in the series, so interesting find. I'm a big fan of PC games, especially early 90s ones, mid 90s ones, so kind of interesting. Speaking of which, also found a copy of TIE Fighter. I think I got that for three bucks. Uh, this one's in pretty good shape, got all the labels, go good in the collection. Don't know if I'll ever play it though, kind of dated, but I hear it's really good. Oh, I found oh this. This is really good. Cool. Well, I say cool. It's a copy of uh, Jet Grind Radio for the Sega Dreamcast. Uh, I found this. Uh, I think it was priced for four dollars, but I pulled it out of the case it was in. It wasn't in this blue sleeve. It was in a like a little cheapy case, but it was really scratched up. So I had I talked the uh, manager down to two dollars. Good thing I did. Got it home. Does not work. I don't know what it is, but Dreamcast games seem to be really, really finicky. Uh, if they have any scratches at all, they do not want to play. I think I've bought maybe two or three Dreamcast games with like minimal scratches, and they just won't read. I don't know if it's my system, or if the system itself is just very picky, but I've not been having a lot of luck with Dreamcast loose games. So, in the future, I probably will be keeping uh, what I pay for them dubious games as low as possible. Uh, this was a cool find. That's Ape Escape, Ape Escape with the uh, price tag still on it. 
I grabbed that immediately. I think I saw a YouTube video a couple weeks ago saying this game was really good. I played it for about uh, 15 minutes just to make sure the game worked. Uh, it's pretty fun, actually. Very bit different, but I do like 3D puzzle platformers, so one of these days, I'm going to give it a run through. Oh, what we got here? Oh, another find. Final Fantasy IX. As I said, I'm not really a JRPG fan, but I found this at Goodwill for four bucks, and I figure it's Final Fantasy, so it's probably worth four bucks. Haven't tested it yet. Don't know for certain it works, but I have really good luck with PlayStation 1 games, even if they have minimal scratches. I mean, they got to be really banged up to not work for me. So, we'll see if my luck holds out on that one. Uh, what we got here? Oh, a bit of a surprise. Uh, I found a copy of Warcraft 2 The Dark Saga, again, at, good, at Goodwill. Uh, I think it was priced three bucks. Uh, this is interesting. I didn't really, I almost didn't pick this up, uh, but I got it home and I checked eBay. Apparently, it goes for like 15, 20 bucks, so it's kind of sort of collectible, I suppose, to Warcraft fans. So, kind of an interesting uh, find, I think. And uh, then I got a copy of uh, NFL Blitz. I think I paid a buck fifty for it, maybe a dollar even. I don't know. NFL Blitz is sometimes fun, so it's probably worth having a copy laying around. Other than that, it hasn't been that exciting. I mean, unfortunately, I haven't been to the flea market in, like, a month and a half. I mean, it's been pretty, pretty bad. I slept in, like, a couple of weekends and been broke the rest. Last time I went, I barely found anything. It was really, really slim pickings. Um, the only thing I found while I was there was uh, I got a Master System controller. Hurrah. Of which uh, I do not have, which is a problem. Because I picked up that Wonder Boy game, and it, uh, I have no way to test it. I really, really, really want a power base, con a power base converter, so I can play me some uh, Master System games on my Genesis. And what's really cool is, if I have this controller and I have the power base, I can have that authentic Master System experience. So cool to find, pretty useless. I think I paid a dollar for it, which was probably a good price. Other than that. Same uh, weekend, I picked up the uh, Master System controller. I found just some random stuff. Found a couple of comic books, if that's what you're into. Uh, these are kind of cool. I like steampunk, uh, the comic, uh, the genre. Yeah, it depends. A uh, couple of same weekend, I found a couple of uh, players' guides. I've kind of been getting into collecting players' guides. Uh, not sure why. Got the Kingdom Hearts one because someday I'll play Kingdom Hearts. Got Escape from Monkey Island for PS2 because I'm a massive Monkey Island uh, LucasArts adventure game fan. Now, Escape from Monkey Island is probably the worst of the bunch, but if I ever want to get th play it quickly through, having the player's guide will make it easy to uh, get through it quickly. Other than that, it's been pretty... Other than that, that's uh, basically it for the last two months. It's been pretty slim pickings in general. Uh, probably overpaid a little bit on a little few things, but, you know, my PS1 collection's growing. Um, oh, I've sort of kind of gotten into also uh, music CD collecting, which is something I've never been into. I've been buying, uh, good, I've been cleaning Goodwill out of all the good music I can find and ripping them onto my MP3 player. I got some Weird Al Yankovic and some Pink Floyd and basically whatever f tickles my fancy at the time. I mean, three bucks for music ain't bad. Uh, especially when you're paying like 10 on iTunes. So, so I hope you like my video. Uh, like I said, nothing is super exciting. Last fall, I had a lot of really good luck at flea markets and what have you, but uh, lately it's been kind of not very good. But uh got some cool stuff here, so hope you like my video.